The high-profile trial of Michael Jackson's former doctor, Conrad Murray, is getting underway in Los Angeles. Your Honor, I am an innocent man. I therefore plead not guilty. Because the case has already attracted so much media attention, about 160 potential jurors will be interviewed to work out who can serve on the jury. But legal experts reckon it'll be pretty much impossible to find people who don't already have an opinion. The trial will put the spotlight on the King of Pop's final moments once again. Michael Jackson, one of the most successful singers of all time, was found dead at his ranch in Beverly Hills in June 2009, age 50. Authorities say he'd taken an overdose of the powerful anaesthetic propofol and various sedatives. Murray's admitted giving Jackson propofol as a sleep aid, a drug normally used for surgery, but he denies involuntary manslaughter. His lawyers are expected to argue that the pop star was addicted to sedatives and painkillers and could have given himself a second fatal dose of propofol when Murray was out of the room. The doctor faces up to four years in prison if convicted. The trial is expected to last four to six weeks.